What in the world? Okay, first off, there's a very cute hog nose smelling outside of the air hole. But also, there's a wasp in the incubator protecting the hog noses. I don't want to go in there now. What do I do? I'll go find Ed. Make him do it. Okay, Ed's here. Yeah. You can open the incubator and deal with that. Okay. Really? Yeah. No big deal. What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna squish him with my phone. Wait, what if you like picked up the container and brought him on a ride and let him go outside? Those aren't the type of bees that make you not want to be like. Those bees can sting and then re-sting and re they're just angry things with stingers. Yeah, they are, aren't they? If you want to get a cup, I would gladly try. Okay, I want him to live. All right, so I'm just gonna squish him. Emily wants to save him. I don't or her. Have to die. It's a hornet. They're just mean little cusses. That's all they are. Don't Stinger. Hurt me. Stinger. Come here. How's that working? He's coming. Climb in. Oh gosh. Okay, he's in. He's in the cups. Okay, now open. Oh no, we're not open yet. Are the doors locked? I don't know. What are you gonna do now? Thank you. Yep. Go free. Ah. And now he's just dead on the ground out there. Okay, we've got Om Nom eggs, carpet python eggs from a customer. Blue beauties, anything happening here? Nope, nothing yet. They look good though. We've got rat corn eggs there and, oh, oh, oh my gosh, Moonstone. The corn snake eggs are hatching. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, let's take a look. I'm just gonna put them right on the floor. Moonstone, these are our mystery corn snakes. Oh, nice. Yeah, like we don't know what they're gonna look like because we don't even know who the dad is. She was just surrendered to our rescue and then she laid eggs and. <gasps> like, are you just doing it on the floor? Well, yeah, I'm so excited. There's, there's a shelf right there. There's no time to go to the shelf. Oh my gosh, they're all pipping. What are you gonna look like? Oh, stick your heads out. I wanna see you. Is that a cool little stripe on that one? Oh my gosh. This is very exciting. We're gonna let them pit for the rest of the day and then come back and cut the remaining eggs open, but it looks like they might all pip by that time. So we're gonna take a peek and see what they look like. Here's the mom. This is Moonstone, who you may remember from her egg laying video. She was surrendered to our rescue program and she is over 10 years old. So she's considered a senior with snakes, at least corn snakes in my opinion. And then she, about a week after we got her, she laid eggs and the eggs looked fertile. They looked perfect. So we put them into incubation and as you can see, they're now pipping. It has been all almost a full day since those babies started pipping. So now it is time to cut the eggs and create a little opening for the babies to come out in case they can't create one on their own from the inside. For the ones who haven't already. Yeah. There's just one out right one there. Out. And then there's some cuts and some more cuts Ooh, and cuts and cuts. So. Okay, so we have some fun things to look at, but what I'm really excited for is what these babies are going to look like yes. because this is mom. She is, I believe, looking at her pattern with that stripe. I think she's a tessera or tessera morph, but that's all we can see. Other than yep. that, she looks completely normal. And the tessera morph is a dominant morph. So this can be passed down regardless of if the male is tessera too. Um, but I, we don't know anything else about her genetics. So we're gonna find out hopefully more with these babies. All right, so now is the moment. What do we have? Oh my gosh, there's an albino. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh, there's three albinos. Oh yeah, there's one, one two, two. Three. And three. Oh my gosh. There are totally albino babies in here. Oh, this one's really wow. sassy too. Oh, are you an angry baby corn? Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Really? Really? You're a corn snake. You're not supposed I mean, to do that. You're I not guess a- they're a red rat, so. I guess, yeah. You're not a bull snake. Dude, calm down. You're fine. Okay, so we have a sassy baby in here. Oh my gosh, pure corn snakes, which is weird. We've never bred pure corn snakes. They're always yeah. rat corns. Yeah. But a lot of them, have they all pipped? Um, uh, look like most of them have. This one, oh, this is out. This one's out, okay. This one, calm down, sir. One? He's like, don't make fun of my home. Looks like this one hasn't pipped yet. So we have one to cut and a bunch to peek in. Come here. We're He's gonna, gonna go in timeout. We're gonna take you over into timeout land. All right, well, let's take a peek so that, okay, so mom is het amelinistic. Yep. So we know that for sure. And she was paired to a male that was either amelinistic or- Amel and corn it, Yeah, and corn snakes, it's not albino, it's amelinistic. Okay, what's in this egg? Ooh, that's a tessera. Look at all those stripes. Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks like These a tessera. nose. Oh, you're super cute, hello. Are you very curious? You're adorable. You've got some cool stripes on your side like your mom. Okay, so that's a tessera. Okay. And then we have one that's definitely an amelinistic in here. Are you amel tessera? Uh, too many bubbles, hard to tell. Okay, we have a nose right here. Hello, can I take a peek? Too many bubbles to tell. Oh, well, 
Eh, okay, a little hard to tell. Yeah, we have I a normal color. Anything. There might be some striping there. I can't tell. Okay. This yeah. one's an Amel. Yep. Sticking his little face out. Oh, there he goes. Ducking back in. Okay, this one is another Amel. I want to make sure. Oh, yeah, you made a hole big enough to come out of. Okay. What's in here? This baby is... Oh, that looks like another Tessera, maybe. I think I see some stripes. Glad you can tell. I think, and maybe, I don't know. I guess I, I'm new to corn snake braiding, so I really I don't know. I can't see anything on camera. So oh, really? It's too dark, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, how about this egg? Oh, hmm. I think I do see stripes in there. Um, I see orange in yeah, there. Yeah, I see a lot of orange, too. I guess I can't uh, really uh, tell. Not email orange. Oh, my but... gosh, a head just came out. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb you. Go away. I don't want any Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> okay, goodbye. You you can just stay in your egg if you want. Sorry to have bothered you. How about this egg? This one don't pipped. You hate it when your neighbors come and cut open a side of your house <laughs> and peek inside. And peek inside to see what you look like. You have to come out and be like, "Hey, go away, you stupid rainbow." Okay, what's in this egg? We have Oh, that one looks like a normal to me. Yeah. Yeah, I see brown colors and I spots. See spots, yep. Yep. Okay, so that one I believe is a normal. He's a cutie though. What's in this egg? What was this theme? This one's theme was, I think, Cookies? things sold in a dozen, maybe? No, this was a candy theme. Is this candy? Is this baked goods? Maybe. I don't remember what this theme was. Right, somebody remind us. I think it's baked goods. You think? Because it's a donut that's. I don't remember. I do remember that and you making that, but... I don't honestly remember what these hat. are. Yeah, what was that? I don't oh. know. Oh, he got out of timeout. Oh, no! Get I... back in timeout, sir. Anyway, we're going to take a look inside this egg next. This one has a lot of bubbles. Let's figure it out. Stop it, dude. Go back into timeout. You're too upset to... There, maybe if I take that out, you can't do it. All right, back. <laughs> All right, this one. Oh, hello. Are you going to come out too? Oh. Oh, you're adorable. I am here. Oh, hi. you don't have to hatch right in front of us. It's okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm on camera. It is time to hatch. He is a star. <laughs> okay, well, that one looks like a normal to me. I'm just going to set him back and let him do his thing. <laughs> Did not mean to make you hatch, dude. Oh, this one's got his nose coming out too. Oh, look at all Little the noses. Flicks. Nose, 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 nose. Face. Yeah, whole face. Inside this egg. Bubbles. Wow, corn snakes like to make spit bubbles, don't they? This baby is... Upside down. Oh, that one looks annery to you, or to me, or sorry, <laughs> to, to you. That looks annery to me? Wow. It was a combination of it looks annery to me and does this look annery to you? <laughs> Maybe. Look, that's gray. That isn't red or brown. Yeah. I think that one might be an anorithristic. Maybe. Ooh, I can't wait to see that one come out. Okay. Got the last two? Yep, we have two more to cut then. It's going to be an exciting one when they're all out and I can actually see what they look like behind the camera. Yeah, true. I find myself peeking around the camera to see what you can see. Oh, really? And then all of a sudden I go out of frame, so I have to stop doing that. Good job, cameraman. Yep. But it's All so right. exciting. Ooh, that goop doesn't look good. It does not look good. So this might not be a good baby on the inside, but let's find out. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. it's not supposed to be yellow. Uh, unless... Ooh. Is that the snake? I see scales. I thought it was yolk at first, but I think that's the snake. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. That might be an I... Amel Tessera. I think... Are you alive? Poke, poke, poke. Oh, he's not moving. You could cut a bigger hole. And just kind of, like, let him... See. Yeah. She's, he's right there. He is. This is a tough one to cut. I don't want to cut him. You know, I think that's a big enough hole to come out of if okay. he wants to. So I'm just going to let him sit there. But that would be a golden colored or yellow corn snake yeah. if it hatched. So I'm really curious on that one. And last egg here. Oh, Goop looks good. Oh, he's moving inside. Yeah, okay. Cool. I could feel him against my fingers underneath moving. Is so it? he's. Oh no, someone's taking a blade to my house. Yeah. Taking off the roof of my house with a razor blade. Some giant monster. This one is... Oh, oh that's like snow. That's a snow. Oh my gosh. That's cool. Wow. Okay, so I bet that one is definitely Annery. Yeah. But this is the snow, which is a combination that of... That could also be a snow. That could be a snow. Wow. Oh, no. Okay, so we have a melanistic, we have an Annery, and we have a combination of the two, which is a... Look at his face. That's Aww. totally a little snow. Hey, dude. Oh my gosh. That was the last egg, too. That was a conveniently good last clutch. Yeah. Wow. Good job peeking in the eggs first to yeah, figure yeah. out what was the best one to end on. Look at his face. Oh, wait, wait. He was thinking yeah. about coming out. Okay, sorry. Here, you, you stay in there then. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a yep. snow the whole time, so He's I like, saved wait, it. There was a snow in, the cl in my clutch? Do you want to see? Come here, dude. Look, you have a snow sibling 
right there. That's your snow sibling. And that one right there is Annery, I think. That one is a mystery. It's yellow. I don't know what's inside. It might We're not gonna be alive. It might not be alive. So that might be a dead sibling. And this one is an uh, an albino or uh, an amelanistic. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for these babies to come out. And you're a completely normal. You yeah. didn't get the tessera. You didn't get anything good. <laughs> yeah. Didn't get any of the fun genetics. All right. Well, we are going to put these babies back into incubation for another day and wait till they come out. But oh my gosh, I think mom was het. I mean, we know she was het amelanistic. I think she was het. No, she, we know she was het anery because there's a snow in there. Yeah. And who knows what else? Yeah, I guess when we come back, oh. we'll get to see a lot of really cool clutch. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. We have the baby corn snakes and they're out. Yeah. And look at what's right on top. The snow. The snow is out. Oh, yes. It's right there. There was one that I noticed in here through the bin. I tried not to look as much as possible. Yep. But there was one albino that came out and failed to thrive. So. Oh, it passed. Oh, yeah. you already took it out. Yep, I already took it out. Figured okay. We don't need to really show it on camera. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have one that will be missing, but that explains it. Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh, all let's right. see them all now that they're out. out. Yes. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh Ooh. my gosh, look at those oh, colors. That's so much color. Look oh, at all the bugs too. Yeah, I wonder if that one yellow colored baby just isn't, I don't see it in here. Is that this egg? Oh, it's totally that one. Ooh. That's where the gnats are coming from. All right, we'll close uh, that back up. We'll take a look at that egg really uh, quick. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. All right, let's take a look. I know if it hasn't hatched yet, it's not going to Ooh. hatch. We've got maggots on it. Definitely not going to hatch, but I'm still curious what's inside. Because it, lo it looked yellow from when we cut That's it. That's true. So what does this baby look like? Probably just didn't develop the colors properly. I can't imagine that smells great. Uh, I can't smell it yet, okay. thankfully. Because I kind of just zoomed in so I can stay away from it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I can smell it now. Oh, boy. Are you happy you got your nose fixed now? Uh, not really. Okay, well. Is twins? Was it twins? No, never mind. No, it just kind of broke. It's All right. decaying. All right, well, it's pink because I don't think the color had actually developed oh, yet. Yep. All right, okay. well, that's fun. Now let's look at the happy, the healthy babies. Oh. All right, grossness aside, let's check out these cute babies. Yes, that would explain the fungus gnats, though, yeah. that, that egg. Wow, look how red that one is. Wow. Holy moly. Oh, it's a lot oh. redder on camera for some reason. Oh, is it? This yeah. one? Yeah. I mean, it is still really red it in person, too. It almost looks blood red in, on the camera. Wow. Ooh, the snow. Okay, I've got a nice little normal here. And the snow, look at that. Wow, look at the different patterns in them, too. Okay, so this is like your normal looking corn snake with the blotches down the back. But then we've got this guy who has some nice stripes in his pattern. So that's a tesseromorph. That's its dominant, right? Yes. Okay, plain old dominant so mutation. Most, most tesseras out there are 50%, so they're not homozygous. They only they carry cop. They only carry one of the tessera genes, but since it's dominant, it shows. Yep, okay, so that would explain why half of the babies here, it seems, have tessera in them. Actually, yep. the ones that are all left in here looks like are mostly normal pattern, but look at this one! This yeah, one has an amazing one. a really nice stripe all the way it down It looks like a, a ribbon snake. We have two corn snakes on a quest. Oh, where are, you, where are they going? Uh, are you gonna go rescue your friends that I put in timeout? <laughs> yeah, all the other ones that have been escaping so far have been going in that bin he's off like, camera. He's like, I can rescue them. I'm bringing the ring back to Mordor. What's this one doing? Dude, you're going the wrong way. Okay, so this is a tessera. Yeah. This is a really nice tessera with that stripe. This is just a normal patterned one, but it's an amelanistic. What's this one? Uh, looks like a tessera technically, because it has some striping, just kind of a low expression. This one is just a normal by the looks of it. Really pretty though, nice high reds like mom has. Oh my god, here they all come. Okay, stay in here, stay in here. Okay, moving on to the next baby. Look at this one, this is the anery. It looks like we just have one anery, was that right? Looks like it. Yeah, just one anery, that but it's really an pretty. anery tessera combined. That is so pretty, and it's a nice stripe too. Here's another one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so if cute. If I fits, I sit. Well, it looks like a tessera from what I can see. I'm just gonna <laughs> leave him alone though, here. He's like, I want to go back in my egg. <laughs> the world was so much easier back then. I also like this one. He's, hiding under he's the hiding, eggs. And he's really nice because he's not escaping yeah, everywhere. Yeah, that is really nice. <laughs> And then the snow here is a normal pattern, but still, it's a snow. So it's an anery and a melanistic combined. That is so cool. I just love the variety of these colors that we got. Okay. All right, you're gonna try and hold them all? Yeah, I yeah. think I'm gonna try to hold all of the babies Oops. in my hands. Yeah, he's, he's an easy one. <laughs> Okay. Oh no, they're escaping. I can't help you, I'm sorry. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think so either. They're going everywhere. No, well, you're putting just their tails in my hands. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to go back to- They're 
is sliding right out when you do that. I had him for a split <laughs> second. All right, babies, let's get you set up in bins. All right, well, we got our baby bins and we only have three left from those two brand new baby racks. Everything is full except for these three, uh, but I don't trust these corn snakes not to escape any of the other baby bins we have. So we're just gonna have to make this work. And thankfully in a couple of days, we have some babies shipping out. So we're just gonna like spread them out once more bins open up. Yeah, I think tomorrow we're shipping out 15 snakes, so. Yeah, yeah, that'll open up just enough space for all these babies. But in the meantime, they'll be okay together for a little bit longer. And if they're not, they'll have to deal with it. You can't pick your family. <laughs> That's right. All right. Um, so are we putting them in here or are we putting them in the other room? We should probably put them in the bins in the other room or they're just gonna go everywhere. Yeah. They're, they're kind of like those variable king snakes that were going everywhere. <laughs> yeah, All right, so. It might be worse. They might be. If you want to see where we've been keeping the corn snakes while we set up the baby bins, we keep them over here. They're yeah, just in chilling. The supply bin. In, in the supply bin. Yep. It's kind of a fun little play place for them. Yeah. They so get we're going to gonna... explore all over the place. Yeah. So I guess we'll bring them in back with their baby bins and finally put them in. All right. So the only open spots we have are at the bottom three. Everything else is full, if you can believe it. Yeah. That is bonkers. Got and... a lot of babies this year. And over there. Yeah. All but. Uh... Like full. Two spots over there is full, and the one there, all but like four spots are full. Yeah, so. we are prime baby season right yes. now. We're up to our ears in baby snakes. But that's okay, that's what makes it so much fun this time exactly. of year. It never gets old. We have babies to put in bins. So we're gonna do four. Yeah, I think four, four, and three would be the best yep. way to do it. So we can split them up, but. Yeah, but for now. One, two, I'll put the snow in this bin, and an A mail. Okay, there we, we've got four. Perfect. This baby decided right now is the right time to shed. Oh yeah, of course. Wow, in between the last clip and this one. Look at that fresh yeah, new skin. All about a minute and a half. Yeah, all right, well, you have fun shedding in here. We'll do three and four, and that leaves us with one, two, and three. All right, so there were 11 babies. Hooray. There they go, you guys can chill in here until we find more room for you. Is there anything under that cave? Nope, nope. Okay. okay, we're good. All right, and here we have one of the parents, the only parent that we know anyway. Yeah. This is Moonstone. You can see that stripe. Now that we've been talking so much about different morphs, you might ha might recognize it a bit more now. She's doing really well. She said, she are you going to try to eat me? Yeah, she likes your arm. Don't you try to eat me now. Okay. We also want to introduce you to this guy. He is a snow morph corn snake. Yeah, so this is what they'll turn into, all yeah. the, that snow baby. Yeah, we wanted to show you how they're going to change. How those... Whites with creams. Yeah, it's such pinks. a pretty morph. And now we have the, uh, the tough decision. Do we keep Boomstone? She produced some really pretty and all healthy babies. Yeah. And we know she's hit snow. And uh, he is snow. Maybe. Do we? Yeah. They could be a pair. They could. I don't well, know. I think we'll I think we'll hold on to her and him for the time being. Okay. And just see how she does in our care. Because she's been doing really well so far. She has, but yeah. I'm, I'm interested to see if we can get some weight on her first. She is small. Yeah, yeah. We didn't really we wouldn't have bred her if she was this size in our care, but she laid eggs anyway. Yeah. But yeah, we might hang on to her for a little bit longer and then we'll see if we're gonna keep yeah. her. But she, you know, a snow male would be perfect. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know which baby in today's clutch is your favorite in the comments below. Thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support as well and we'll see you next time this guy's about to poop <laughs> what a great thing to end on yeah that's what i figured i would say it <laughs>